Hi, welcome to another section on OASAP. Today we are going to discuss about API SQL injection testing using OASAP tool. And I am taking a two APIs. One is this. Here you can see the parameter it having the ID. So I going to first or uh, replace the ID value using the SAP feature. So I have already done one video how to capture the postman request over the SAP. So I will that add in description box. You can refer that one. Now I just trigger the API and you can see it will capture over the SAP. Okay. So here you can see here the request and the, this is the response. So the next level I am going to uh, replace the id value here three i am going to replace this value with the bus so select the value three and right click and click on first so the first sir, pop up will be popped up and you can see a payloads option click on that and click on add here you can choose the file first search and expand the jb bro first and go you can see here a sql injection and click click on that so below you can see the payload preview these are the sql injection payloads will be updated when you start the first sir action and i also checking the xss so the payloads are increased and click on add and click on ok then when you start fuzzer it will replace the value 3 with the, the we set the payloads value okay so i starting the fuzzer so you can see the fuzzer action is started and it is in progress and see in history tab or the fuzzer tab the result is are showing you can see some of our statuses are reflected so when you click you need to analyze what is the request okay and uh, here we are playing the payloads values one and getting the response as an error so here it is no no any uh, vulnerable data is exposed in response so you need to check your your application web api and need to analyze the each each result okay then need to under understand anything is exposed or not or response okay here it is a sample testing api so it's not that much of vulnerable and here here likely you can perform on your apis and perform the first action and i will take another api that is say post request and having the parameters as a json and i will trigger the api and it will capture over the sap so let me check and it is the request and this is the response and i'm going to assert the body okay so i select the value which want to replace with the predefined payloads so i click on this select this one and right click and click on first button and click on payloads and add and you can choose the file first sets and click on jb bro first and you can select the sql injection and xss and click on add the same steps be we before we follow and click on click on ok ok then again start the fossil here also the the fossiling action is in progress and you can see the statuses ok and check on the reflected the state if it is in reflected you can check the value of the response ok here as well it's a dummy api so that that's why it's showing like this like this okay uh, you can check your own api or target api and check uh, 
checking the vulnerability on SQL injection okay so likely you can perform any of the parameters or this or this multiple parameter we can apply it for the buzzer at a time if that's also possible so uh, today i am discussed about the sql injection and access using the buzzer hope you enjoyed this section if you like please like and subscribe and we can see in another section till then bye and happy testing bye